Hello folks. So today I want to show you my Celestron um, heavy duty wedge. And what this wedge can do is it will convert my altitude azimuth mount into an equatorial mount. And it's something I bought four years ago and I never used it because back then I was going through a period of rapid upgrades, the AVX, the CGX, and this got put on the shelf in the basement and, and actually it was never used. And, uh, but the reason I'm making this video is I think I found a use for it. Um, last summer I was using my altitude azimuth mount to capture Jupiter and it did a really good job. I was impressed. Now with an altitude azimuth mount you can't do long exposures on it because of the field rotation. And I never really knew exactly what they meant by that or what would happen. And I thought, well, I'll just keep my, my pictures of Jupiter um, with short exposures. I won't record a video more than 10 seconds, say, and I should be safe. But it wasn't until I put an animation together that I really saw the effect of field rotation. You can see um, Jupiter tilted, um, dipped a little bit on the on the east side of the meridian and when it hit the meridian it, it leveled up and when it goes to the other side of the meridian it starts to dip in the other direction that's what the field rotation was doing because the the altitude azimuth mount sort of tracks in a horizontal and vertical method and and that's what produces the field rotation whereas an equatorial mount um it will rotate with the sky in one motion so with an equatorial mount, if I was pointed at Jupiter, it would follow Jupiter and keep Jupiter in the same orientation all the way across the sky. So it's not going to get that wobble like you kind of see in an animation. I mean, I don't mind that, that rotation, actually. It's just when I show it to other people, they say, does it really wobble like that? And I, I kind of get tired of explaining what's happening. So, and let me show you how this is put together. Okay, so here is my tripod for the altitude azimuth mount, and it has three screws. Um, they don't come off, they're just permanent on here. And the wedge has three screws, so, or three holes for the screws. So I'm just going to set the, the wedge on here and tighten these screws underneath. This should be pretty simple. You guys got to think, which way do I want this? Two, the tripod legs in the back, one in the front. I think that's how it's going to go, and, uh, hmm, uh, I'm trying to see how am I going to line these up. Well, I guess it doesn't matter which way the tripod, leg, the tripod legs are going to go. I'm just going to screw this in. It's got dust on the back here, too. I'm going to line it up like this. Let's see if I can. Yeah, that feels pretty good. All right, now let me get the other part. Okay, so here is the mount head um, of my altitude azimuth mount, and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna attach it to the wedge, the wedge now, and um, uh, the wedge has um, two of these screws permanently attached to the back, and it comes with a third one that will go here, which isn't attached permanently.
Now let me get my telescope. Okay, so I have the mount powered on now. And I did read the manual for this part. And I have to choose EQ North. But let me, let me take a look here. Press Enter to begin all alignment. Wait. Press Enter to begin alignment. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do sky align. Auto two star, nope. I'm going to keep going. I think the furnace just went out. Sorry about that if you're hearing some background noise. But I'm going to choose EQ North Align. There's also an EQ South, but I want EQ North. So I'm going to choose that. Okay, I'm going to put the time in. What is the time? Uh, 7.05 p.m. So I'm going to put that in. 19.05 Standard Time, Eastern USA. And today's date is... 011420 and auto align no two star alignment I'm gonna do one star alignment and I looked I looked up the star Navy or the Navi N A V I and it's a little bit higher on the, the west side of the meridian I'm gonna choose that star I'm gonna keep going Okay, now it wants me to find Navy, maybe, whatever the heck that star. Let me fix the alignment. Maybe this was a little bit. I took a, a best guess at polar alignment. I can't do polar alignment in my basement. But let me line up. I think Navy is higher than Polaris, and it's to the west. Right about maybe there. I looked in Stellarium before I did this. Or maybe I'm, I'm just going to guess that maybe it's about there. Center and then align. Okay. Now it says, uh, now I'm ready. So am I running as an EQ mount? I suppose, but I'm going to try one more thing at the test. If I'm even remotely accurate with polar alignment and where that one star alignment was, it's all my best. Then it should know that the Crab Nebula is to the east. And if this thing points to the east, I think I got this thing going right. So this is all, I'm nervous now, but we'll see. Solar system, I'm gonna press Deep Sky, Named Objects, Crab Nebula. That should be, that should be in this database, I hope. No, no. Crab Nebula, okay. Let's see. I'm expecting this mount to point east when I hit this button. Well, that didn't go very well. <laughs> it's pointing that way. What did I do wrong? I don't know. But I'll be back. Okay, so I found this picture online, and it has the mount arm pointing north. Now, I had it pointing south, um, before. So I've turned my whole mount around so if you can see my the arm on, on, um, on this side now pointing north and this is the part that messed me up. The telescope in the home position is now pointing at the celestial equator and that, that kind of messes with my brain because I thought the well just the way I have my other mounts the mount and the telescope are both pointing to the to the north when I do my polar alignment but now this this is a completely separate thing going on here that's why uh, and I and I kind of envision that the, the tripod should be set up like this with the latitude in the back but it's, it's the position of my telescope the way it's facing that was messing me up and let me show you 
um, how this works. And I've already tested it, so I know it actually does work this way too. So I'm going to select, uh, I'm going back to EQ North now, instead of EQ South. Um, the time is 2140, standard time, the date, and I'm going to do a one star line. And I'll pick Navy again, or Navy, 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 Navy. All right, now I got a center Navy. So let's see, it's that way. Yeah, probably there. Okay. A line. Okay, now I'm going to try and find the Crab Nebula. Named objects. And it should point that way. I know this is going to work. I tested it. Now I would really just do a, um, a planetary alignment when Jupiter is back. I wouldn't be doing a star alignment. So let's see. Yeah, I can already tell it's 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 going in the the crab nebula is over there somewhere. Yeah, that's probably pretty close considering this is all approximation. So I'm getting tired, but you know what? I'm glad I went through all this in the basement. So by the time planets come around. I'll be ready. I won't have to mess with this and figure it out while I'm getting bit to death outside with mosquitoes. So it always helps for me at least to, to play around with the equipment in the basement first. And uh, well, I don't know if you lasted this long, but uh, thanks for watching folks. And I will see you later. I'm tired. I'll wait for the phone to stop ringing. Oh, that was fast. Hello, folks. So, um, hello, folks. Today, <clears throat> the furnace just went on. I did find the diagram 